Okay, so um, here's a ch just a checklist of things that uh, we need to fix or add to our project. Um, so we're just going to be doing some more modeling and texturing. So first thing uh, I want to do is these top pieces behind the top detail parts. Um, uh, that kind of means that in 3ds Max here, we have our top parts here, but uh, this part here is actually... Uh, underneath this part so that might give us some problems later on so you can kind of see it here better in the wireframe um, this piece should only go up to about here so I don't want these pieces in the back of it so actually the outside one I'm gonna keep but these inside ones there's no reason why they should go all the way up here so I'm just gonna select all the inside ones and actually uh, in a previous uh, file I had moved I copied these from the lower one because there was just a gap here so I just want to mention that um, this here is now copied here because I copied it from this one um, before it was just uh, there's this gap right here so I had to change it so um, I'm just gonna select one of these and then go to isolate selection I'm gonna deselect this and go to our uh, edit poly you have to make a new modifier for that and then I'm just gonna drag select and get all these edges and um, looks like we can't do a connect, but there should be an option down here. Yep, right here. So, I only want it going up to, like, here. So I'm just going to create some more lines here. Um, until we get this perfect. It's got to be a little bit more than that. So that's that's pretty good there. So what I'm doing is I'm just looking at this line right here. Uh, all the other lines don't matter. So I'm just going to go to our polygon. Let's go to our front view. And I'm going to delete uh, all of these. Okay, and then I'm going to take my uh, vertex selection and grab just this top row. Um, and I'm just going to bring it up to right there. Okay, so that that should do that. Um, let's ice, let's exit the isolation and check. Looks like we need a little more piece up here. So I'm just gonna uh, isolate or grab this piece too and isolate the selection. And then I'm just going to grab the rest of our pieces here. We still have the modifier open, so let's grab all the top vertices. They're already there. And I'm actually gonna grab them again uh, and see if we can just bring this up to. Well, I'm gonna, first I'm going to do preserve UVs, and then uh, I think it was about to right here. What I'm looking at is this point here. So let's exit. Yep, so that'll do that. So I'm just going to collapse the selected. Um, and that fixes that problem. Um, so we can move on to our next one. Um, so let's see. So uh, this is done. Geometry on the detail pieces I made in tutorial needs to be thinner. Okay, so that's um, these pieces here. They kind of look a little funny um, in Marmoset. Uh, <clears throat> so I think um, that if they're thinner, they'll show up a little bit more realistically. Um, let's see what that looks like with those edge faces. Uh, Actually, I want to shade it and then turn off edge faces. So, yeah, that looks a little bit better. Um, so let's do that. Uh, I'm just going to undo that. And then I'm going to select all of them. And we're just going to scale them down by the Y. Let me turn off my uh, thing here. Grab the rest of these. Um, and then I'm just going to scale them down. To something like, uh, you know, something like that. Okay. Um, so that's done. Door handles LOD to put in tutorial. Okay. Um, so basically, that's our uh, door handles on these doors here. I want to grab my uh, low poly handles and. I'm going to uh, also grab the mid poly and the high poly. So I want 
So I want this, this, and this. And I'm just going to go to our uh, UV unwrap. Yeah, we want the alpha channel. Then I'm going to go to Photoshop. Open that up. And I have to make it 4096. So 4096. And then I'm just going to hold, hit the V key and drag this over. Okay, so it looks like this is going to work, but this is a little bit off. So we got to move it up and over about the width of this uh, wing here. So let's go back in here. And I'm just going to select these faces. I need to go up a little bit. And then over... Uh, to about right here. Okay, and then I'm just going to render a new one. Render a UV template. As soon as it takes control of my mouse here. Okay, so just render a new one and then save it. Right now it's just really bogging down my system because that high poly, but um, I think once that's uh, once we're done with this, we can go back to the uh, low poly. So I'm just going to open up Photoshop and reopen the handle here, update it. Um, I think it's going to went back to 1024, so 4096. And I'm going to get rid of this old one first. Oh, looks like we need some more space, so let's move this down. Delete our old one out of there, and then I'm going to just drag shift it over. So that's in a good space there, and we have the space down here, so that's going to work. So let's um, go back in the max, and I just want to get this closed and saved. Uh, we don't need this anymore, so I'm just going to close that. We don't need this one. Oh. Okay, close that. Close that, and then I'm going to collapse this, and then I'm going to turn off everything but our low poly. Okay, and then I'm going to save. Okay, so now uh, we have this map here, so um, this is all going to be the same material. So what I'm going to want to do is go to our maps and find... Uh, I think it was in our map B, was it? No, it was map A. Okay, so if I open up our diffuse here, so uh, this is the original one we did. Um, so I'm actually going to just. Um, Grab that. It should be called something that relates to the uh, handle. So I'm not sure which one it is, so I'm just going to start turning these off. Looks like this one is tarnished, and this is the background. So we're going to need these two, and then just drag them over to here. Um, I don't think we'll need any other ones. Okay, so I'm done with this file. I'm just going to click, no, I don't want to save that. Okay. So now, um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, merge these layers. And then I want to just grab uh, this right here and I'm just going to scale it and paste it in. It doesn't really have to be exact. Um, just needs to cover it. 
And we're actually going to throw a, a material uh, back on it too, behind it. Because it's not going to fit exactly because it's a different UV set. Um, and then I'm going to grab. Actually, wait. Looks like our UVs weren't down enough because look, they're, they're being covered. Um, no, they're right there. Oh, okay. That's just the copy. Okay. So that'll work. So I'm going to grab this here and bring it down. Or I'm just going to copy it and then hit Control J. Get rid of this. And then I'm going to bring it down to where we need it, which is going to be flipped because the uh, pole thing is right here. So just going to try to match this as best as we can. So kind of like that. And then uh, return on this layer. And I'm going to grab the rest of our uh, control C, control V, I mean control J. And then bring this down to uh, Um, actually that's not going to really work out. So what I'm going to do is basically just color pick this color here and I'm just going to throw it behind everything. So that will work out better I think. Okay and then I'm just going to uh, grab this control C control J and we can get rid of this layer and I'm just going to add that color here too. So we might even be able to do some uh, like grime and stuff if I just sample this color and then uh, grab a brush something like this I guess and kind of just Something like that. Okay, um, so now I'm just going to save this. And save it out as our map. Right now it's just got this temporary name of Fox Sign Lighting Glow. Um, but we're going to change that a little bit later. Okay, so that fixes that. Um, I'm actually going to apply that now. So this is our map C, and I want it for the low poly handles, I want it for the mid, and I want it for the high. So select all these, hit uh, assign. Okay, and then uh, right now they're really buggy. Uh, that's okay. I think because this file is uh, kind of big. So I'm just going to do a quick save. And now we've completed that task, so the door handles, okay. Double the geometry under the tart script letters. What that is uh, saying is um, the letters, and we'll just isolate this so we can see it, um, on this big sign here, uh, right here, if we isolate this. Um, in the preview image in Marmoset, um, uh, these letters don't all show up because they're on separate faces. So if we turn on edge faces, or yeah, edge faces, um, I want to copy these over to the left. Hopefully, then it will show up uh, as a little thicker line. So let's check that box. Okay, now we got posts are not touching. Okay, so these posts here, um, they're not holding on to anything. Uh, they should be connected to this back here. So I'm going to grab both of them. And actually I'm going to grab one of each and slide it in. And I'm going to slide this one inward. I'm going to grab both and slide them back. So that they're actually touching the geometry there. Okay. 
Um, but they need to be in front of this sign. So we can't drag them all the way back, just enough so that they're touching and then they're in front. I can't tell if they're in front right now. Yeah, they're there. Okay, so that's fixed. Um, just a few little things I just want to get fixed. So these green post square extrude too much. Uh, what I mean by that is um, uh, if we turn on our, our edge faces, um, this is extruded way too much. Uh, there's not that much uh, depth in this piece. So I'm going to select all these. There's really not that many of them, maybe 10. Okay. And for right now, I'm just going to isolate the, this selection. Okay. And then I'm going to go to my uh, Edit Poly and grab my Faces tool. Hit Z to zoom, and we'll kind of zoom in on this. Um, so basically, um, we just move this back uh, a little bit. Actually, looks like the whole thing's kind of big. So let's. Uh, go to our top view, hit Z to zoom, and I'm just going to scale these uh, by the Y so that they're a little thinner. Now let's check them out in the perspective view. So that's much better. Um, I, don't, I don't think it completely solved our problem though. Um, so if we just move these back to like here, that would be good. Um, so we, we got to do them all though. Um, so I'm just control clicking on uh, this bottom one here, this bottom face. And we're not going to be able to zoom in because our zoom is way over on the side where we started. So it's going to have to try to get this as best as I can. I can still kind of see it. There we go. And there's one more. Okay, grab that. All right. So now. Just gonna move this in, so like right here. Okay, and then also um, you can actually see the stretching here. So if I can, uh, I'm going to just select this one, hit Z. Now we're just rotating on this one. So if I just hit Control and then Shift, I think I can grab them all. Okay, so I'm gonna hit. Uh, I'm gonna actually I'm just gonna do this one and then I'll just copy them over. So I'm gonna go to uh, just my sides and go to uh, UVW map and then I'm gonna click on the X axis and then hit fit. Um, and then I'm gonna go to uh, the unwrap and now we're at a big scale here so I'm going to turn on our map and just going to scale this in and then bring it down to here and I'm actually just going to use probably something like just this piece here let's see how that looks okay that's much better so let's grab the bottom and top now do the same thing first I'm gonna go to the UVW map and then I'm gonna, after that I'm gonna go to the unwrap so this is gonna be on the Z axis looks like no nope. Y that will be on the Y uh, see because you can see this plane is the same parallel as this one so then I'm just gonna go to the unwrap Turn on our texture here, and I'm just going to scale this down, and then move it so it fits uh, at this bottom here. So like right there. So now we can close that, collapse this, and it looks a lot better already. So now I'm just going to grab this and snap it. Uh, why I'm copying it to these other point uh, parts here. So I'm going to go with the pivot point on uh, the bottom most right front edges. So this one here. And 
Let's make this uh, wireframe something different than our original. So I'm going to make it like a uh, cyan. Copy it to here. Copy this one to here. Okay, it looks like this one didn't copy right. So I'm going to delete that and grab, grab it from this one. Put it right to that point there. Okay, now we can delete our old ones. So I'm just going to look for this orange here thing here in this corner. That'll tell me that it's the orange one, which is the old one. And then our first one we totally redid. So, okay, so that kind of fixes that problem. Um, we can post our extreme too much, so that's done. Uh, let's just go back and do a quick save. And we'll start on this texturing issues. So some texture stretching issues on bottom. I believe that was on the bottom of this part here. Uh, so, um, okay, so that note is already fixed. So let's add the handles to map C. Okay, we already did that. That was our uh, door handles. Sidewalk lines, okay. Um, this is actually already fixed in my um, map. Uh, but basically I'll show you what I did. Um, I think it's map A. Yeah, so I'm gonna go into our diffuse. And basically it's gonna be, uh, if we turn off our edges, this concrete sidewalk, I added these uh, um, cracks uh, because before it was just one long sheet, so it didn't really look like um, sidewalk items. In fact, they should be more square. Um, so maybe we can fix that, that right now. Um, and basically that is right here on this piece here. That's our whole sidewalk. So um, let's actually fix that. Uh, delete this one, this one, and this one. And basically just what I did was I just uh, created a rectangle and filled it in with like a dark black, uh, but not totally black. And then I added a, uh, a bevel to it, just going down, simple bevel, um, just to kind of get that 3D look. So now I'm just going to move this over to like here and see if we can get this a bit more square. So I'm going to grab this one and use uh, the other one for my reference and just snap it right to it. Um, now since this is so close, I don't think we need this one at the end, um, but I'm actually going to move all of them, no, nope, deselect that, to the, move all these down, down a little bit so that they're more evenly placed. This one's going to be this one down here, so we can save that. And then I'm going to just go into save as the map. So this is a diffuse. Okay, so now let's go back in the max and see that change happen. As soon as it saves, it should update. There we go, updated. So those are more square now. Um, a bit more uh, better. So I think they're a little too black, but that's okay. Uh, I think it, it would be too light if it wasn't any lighter. So sidewalk lines, okay. Now the street, um, I want some kind of like road in front of this, um, so um, let's um, let's skip that for now, we'll come back to that. Um, normal white spots, um, that's a, a thing in the map, which uh, just, I did save that already, okay, so on these normal spots is what I'm talking about. Um, so let's go to our normal. I believe it's in map A. Um, these white spots, I'm not sure where they came from, but um, this is a little too white here on this top. That's not the issue, but that's also too. Um, so what I'm talking about here is uh, this white spot here and this white spot here. I think it's maybe um, an occlusion map or something that uh, is doing that. Um, so we don't really want that. So it's going to go in here and it looks like it's that one there. The rock. Oh, this rock here. And we're just going to try to find that issue. And see if we can get rid of it. Yep, there it is there. So it's I guess it's some type of mossy uh, moss thing. So 
it looks like it's just this here so I'm just going to delete that and then I'm going to work on this uh, bottom part here this uh, plate, this steel plate um, so it looks like this is it here so just a little too white for my liking and it's kind of messing with the uh, the look of it so if we can get rid of that that'd be good looks like it's going to be this bottom one here So maybe if we just bring it down in opacity. So I don't want to totally get rid of it because then it's kind of black there. So we'll just bring it down in opacity. And then this one, same thing. Just kind of bring it down to like 20 maybe. That should be fine. And I'm really not even digging this black here that's here. So uh, let's um, let's get rid of that. And this, we'll get rid of this too. So oh, that's better. So I'm just going to do a save. And then I'll have to save on my PNG as well. Save as PNG normal. Okay. So while that's saving, we'll check that off. So normal white spots, done. Image poster painted. Um, that we're going to have to skip to. Um, the... the Ambient occlusion maps baked for final geometry. Um, we'll skip that as well. Spindle texture. Um, that basically is done already. I'm not sure why that's in the list. Um, but we could take a look at it, I guess. Uh, so it's going to be in map uh, 2. So map B. Um, so let's open our Albedo map. And that's going to be this part right here. Um, maybe it could be a little bit more pronounced. Uh, maybe if we duplicate this and then put it on a different layer mode, it might uh, show up more. So like multiply, but that's kind of too too dark. Uh, so maybe we just bring down the opacity of it. Didn't really do much because it's only at two, but. So yeah, that looks a little bit better. So let's uh, save this, and we'll save the uh, PNG as well that we're using for the and put an X on that. Uh, the ways remember skipping these other ones is going to take too long for this tutorial. So um, at this point right now, I, I don't want to like waste time going and finding images and and reference and stuff for or baking the maps. We'll just we'll do that in the next tutorial. So the illumination map um, that is going to be. Uh, this map here um, for the sign and basically what I want to do is um, what are these? Oh, so maybe if, maybe if you change, so I'm going to bring this uh, not emissive black up um, and basically I just want to add more darkness to or more black parts to see how this is covering all the stuff that's not going to be glowing that stuff there. Uh, I'm just going to grab my uh, square uh, brush and make our uh, color black by hitting uh, X and so this isn't going to be glowing uh, this down here is not going to be glowing um, blue something blue board so yeah, we'll just unhide, or, well, uh, let's just uh, select it, and then, well, it's going to have to be turned off, because uh, we can't just add that black in there, because it'll cover our, our yellow spots, so I want to keep it consistent and not turn off layers, just add black to them, so um, let's just uh, select these yellow parts here. A few more to go. Okay, and then I'm just gonna add some a black uh, to the inverse selection. Let's make this a little bit smaller, make it about that size, and just drag over and drag down. And they don't really need to be glowing. Uh, 
you know, they don't really need the previous uh, the underneath what their layer was. Just trying to get this even. Okay, so maybe it won't be even, but um, that still looks pretty good. They're glowing. So that's good, but now um, I want this to glow up here. So um, I'm going to have to make a mask here. Uh, and then uh, we'll turn off our layer, and then we'll just paint in with a round brush. Um, actually, it's going to be on, so we'll actually paint in uh, black to kind of see this, and then I'll paint in the hit uh, X to switch your background foreground color. And now we'll take this color out. So it's just going to be... You know, just on just a little bit. Um, oops, took out of it a little bit too much here. So I'll make my brush a little smaller. Hit X again to go back to the black. And I'm just going to kind of do this outline here. Making sure that I only get the run parts that are going to glow. Um, okay, let's make our brush a little bit bigger here, kind of get the rest of this. And I'm just going to fix this uh, paw here and then this bottom spot and maybe a little bit off the top the rest black. So black is not going to glow. Because uh, I was messing around with the uh, marmer set and uh, a lot of things were glowing that shouldn't be. Um, so uh, that's pretty good. So I think that about covers that. So we can save this. And then I'm going to save the uh, PNG of it too. Basically uh, that's going to be in this map too. So we probably could have waited to save. Um, but I'll just kind of show you what that is in 3D first. Um, it's basically this top right here should be all red. Uh, in our reference it is. So if I go back to the reference just to show it. Um, let's see if we can find uh, Here it is here. So this should be all red from this top part up. Uh, it's just kind of like a cap. So this part should be red. So in our texture space we have that um, being uh, where is it? I think it's right here maybe not uh, let's see so I'm just going to select this and go to our faces and then go to the unwrap and actually see where this is placed here so okay so it's up here so I'm just going to from this red line over complete that make make that all red um, the same red as this but we actually have to be on that layer looks like I don't know why okay there we go and I'm just gonna make a new layer and color this red and that should do it for that I think maybe now I can uh, actually uh, Kind of clean this up a bit by um, selecting this and then hitting control and we'll go back to our red layer and do uh, control shift i to get the inverse and then hit backspace uh, right with this layer there we go so that creates that uh, red part there so let's uh save and then we have to save the PNG too. Oh, cancel. Save as PNG this one. Okay. So that's done. So uh, I want more red in the O of Fox. Um, if we look at uh, our render here, um, I find it here. Um, I think it's going to be right here. So the you can kind of see the red and the X and the F 
and down here, but the O here, uh, mostly the O on this big sign, not down here, is cut off a little bit. So I wanna, I'm just going to solve that by uh, um, adding more red to this O. Um, so uh, it's going to be labeled O. So I'm just going to select it and then move it in. Wait for this watch to stop beeping. Should just turn that alarm off, but uh, that's okay. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this red a few times. In fact, I'm probably going to do it to the other letters too as well. Um, just to kind of make it more red. It doesn't seem like it's red enough. That might have been too much. Okay. Um, actually, I'll take this one and move it more to the center. Because it is going to be red in the center as well. Maybe we'll copy that one more time. Um, so now um, I'm going to grab my apps here and copy them. And then uh, drag them in. Copy them again, and drag them in, and then the X uh, is right here, so I'm going to just copy this one, and then I'm actually going to drag it out first, oops, looks like we're getting not enough there, so copy these two again, and drag them out, and I'm just going to copy all of them, and drag them in. Or scale them in. Okay, so that should solve that. So let's hit save. Back to our thing here. So more red in the O. Okay, normals of white zombie needed to be reversed up, not down. Uh, so what that means is, let me just save the uh, PNG as well. Uh, it's gonna be this one. So what was I saying? The Normals, okay. So, um, we have that uh, already made in our map C. So, if we go to normal, um, basically, I just took the uh, our map and took it in Crazy Bump and made a normal out of it. But uh, these letters should be up, not down. So. Oh no, I didn't take it in Crazy Bump. But so, this I just took our map in uh, Photoshop here, and um, I just want to go to uh, File, Save As, and I'm gonna name this uh, Normal. So N M L. Save it, and then I went to Quixel, and I made I went to Endo, uh, and I made the uh, textures to normal. Um, but what I don't want uh, is um, this these letters to be sunk down. I want them to be up. Looks like that's the only issue. Maybe this too. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just leave everything else but I'm just going to leave everything else and redo this map. Just this animal here and the text and then we'll just paste it on top. So um, let's let's find that. Uh, so basically, um, that's going to be these layers here, and we'll just group that. You can turn it off. Looks like we missed one layer. Uh, okay, so these layers here, I'm going to group it and call it uh, Fox Animal. And uh, we're going to just do that one, and then I need the a text of the sign which should be a still text um,
There it is there. So it's in this group one. So here's our text. Uh, I'm just going to copy those. And then move them up to... Uh, up above. And then I want to grab this fox animal and just copy that. And bring it up to above. Okay. So now I'm going to grab everything else and make it into, except for the black, into a new group. Then I can uh, call this uh, main. Oh, not with the B. And then I'm going to uh, turn that off. So now all we have is this here. So I'm just going to go to uh, our um, make a new scalp layer of just that stuff there. And then I'm going to hit this convert bitmap to normal. Hit OK. And what we're going to do is we're just going to flip it, and then we're going to subtract it out of the old one, or add it to the old one. So let's turn this on, and let's turn uh, these other ones off. Okay, so um, this is the bulk of it. So I just want to grab... Uh, this and go to slant and then go down but it actually be up um, and now we just need to uh, subtract it so um, this layer is not doing anything uh, so I'm going to go to our other layers here and I'm going to control click on these text and then control trick click on all of these objects here holding shift and control uh, oops okay so we want that selected and then unselect these and add a mask to this and then I'll turn on our other normals which uh, looks like I got rid of it so that's not good. Um, so I'm going to duplicate this. And then I'm going to go back in history here. So we're going to go back to where before we even made these normals. So probably something like that. And it's not going to let us. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to exit out of it. We already saved, so we're not going to save. And I'll just reopen this. Okay. So we have our normals here. And then I just want to take these normals and call them normals2. And I'm just going to drag this down here. And then I'm just going to drag it, holding shift, and drag it in. And let's sit back up there. Now... Uh, looks like this is up, but our letters are still down. So I'm going to go into our normals and uh, um, I'm going to go to grab, grab this stuff here and bring it over. Okay, so now um, we don't need this anymore. I'm going to group this and call it uh, mask. Uh, so now we can control click on this Fox Theater that's night and holding shift control click on these. And then I'm going to grab our original, turn off our new normals, grab our original ones and um, make a mask but doing control shift i the selection and then do a mask now that's black so if we put our new normals on there it should show up uh, the right way and now it's pointing up so these letters are actually going to be up and this sign's going to be up and this mask we can uh, just uh, 
a little bit yellow because we don't need it anymore. Um, and now we have our normals. So I'm actually going to group all these again and call them main. And then I'm going to save. But this time I'm actually going to, I did a few extra things, so I'm going to save it as another increment. So hit save. And then we'll uh, save out the normals separately. So I'm just going to go to save as and then save it as our normal. Hit OK. Now that's done. So we switched the normals, we reversed them. Find glow and not glowing. Fix glow and not glowing parts. Uh, we already did that. Rename textures. Um, that's pretty simple. Uh, so um, we just saved this. We just saved out the normal. Um, we have this saved and we saved this. So okay, so um, we've made those changes, those fixes, and uh, I've added a few more things like this road here. Um, and I've gone ahead and um, Uh, actually, I see something here that I don't like, uh, so we'll fix that first. Um, if I hide all these and then hide this. Uh, earlier, we made these top pieces, extended them, um, but I don't want them this high poly. Uh, they, should only, they shouldn't have all these lines in them, so I'm just going to go to our front view and isolate it. And then uh, we can get rid of all these extra lines here. So I'm just going to hit remove and go to our vertex and grab most of them, hit remove and then grab the rest okay so that does that okay so let's get back to our project here um, okay so we've had we got the whole front face of our building done um, plus some ground stuff like the road so at this point, um, I have made different layers uh, based on different parts of the building. Like this is just the uh, uh, um, I guess these walls we don't need. Okay. Um, so that's why I've gone in here and la named them all and layered them and and uh, all that so that uh, there is no confusion. Um, so I just want to check them all here and then I'll get to how we did this. Um, obviously why we did it is self-explanatory. So, alright, um, so I've made uh, different layers based on the different types of um, things that we're going to need for our layers. So. Uh, we broke up the windows into three different, or two different um, polys, low poly and high poly, uh, but these walls are always going to be the same. So I put that in a new layer called Walls Map B, because when we export this out into our engine, um, it's going to be easier if things are grouped as far as what material goes on. Because I mean, there's a lot of layers here. I mean, there you got a lot of objects, and I'm not going to go in here and layer them all or name them all. I mean, some of them are already named and and just by increments, but um, if we group it by material, it'll be a lot easier to put together later in the engine. So, um, so uh, we probably could name these uh, really quick, but um, I think the names are pretty self-explanatory, except for these ones that just have objects or low poly. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and rename these. Um, so, uh, a quick way to do this um, is to select them all on this layer and we're just going to name them what layer that is on so uh, I think that'll be the best way to um, so that we at least know what layer they belong to if we end up having to select something um, later on okay so I'm going to just select right click on the layer and hit select then we'll go down to our tools and go to uh, um, rename objects and this is a little tool that I uh, found out about. If you click on selected and then base name, we'll call this walls uh, B instead of map, short for map B. And then you can uh, base the number on one 
and then it'll go up one every every number so let's click on that and then you can do a prefix or a suffix so this would go before our base word or this would go after we don't need that so i just want to rename all of them and it should just take a second now that's named wall b uh, 13 or, or you know wall b1 wall b2 uh, and, and so on so they're all named wall b with the uh, number attached to them so let's do that for every layer here and i'm just going to um, copy this for our name and actually yeah uh, let me go back a thing here I'm actually going to uh, make this uh, underscore map b just so they're all the same and I'm just going to copy this description select them and then paste that right in here and we'll just do that for all layers um, and then just hit rename that way at least we'll know somewhat what layer they on or where they belong um, just to help out with uh, applying the materials to all these objects so I'm just going to quickly just finish this oh, grab that, hit rename Okay, so now we should see all these named based on their layer. So that'll help out. So we can close this, and now that we have all that, I'm just going to do a quick save. Okay, now also, um, if we unhide all these, um, I've also labeled them by their map by color. So, like map A is red, um, map C is green, even though these are different shades of green, that's okay. We can just switch those um, the road is like a uh, road color which is like a gray and then map B is for blue um, so I've also did those by by uh, color or by material also just so we have the visual instead of using the word okay so um, if we select everything and hit Z it'll zoom all and that way we kind of can uh, move our viewer around and so let's do a save and then I'm gonna export all these out all these layers and it should be really easy then to uh, apply our materials in our engine. So, uh, and even though this is the same map, I'm still going to uh, export it out separate. So, I'm just going to uh, select and then go to File, Export, Selected. And for right now, I'm just going to save it on my desktop. Um, but actually, what I wanted to do before that is copy this uh, name, then hit Select, and then go Export, Selected. I go to our desktop, I'm going to paste that name in, and we're going to make them OBJs. And then I want to click Normals, and that's all we need. So hit Export. Might take a little while. Okay, so we turn that off. I'm going to copy this text, and then select this. And we'll go to Export, Selected. And just paste that in, and then click. make sure you click Normals. Uh, that may already be set for yours. Um, but for mine, it's kind of preset for a mud box. So, um, actually, all I really need to click is just normals. But everything else should be the same as this. And when we do our different types of windows, uh, we'll have the option to switch out high poly and low poly later on, um, since we did them in layers and materials. So I'm just going to copy this here and select export selected paste that in hit normals and export so 
So now that we name these uh, our maps, we won't have any trouble figuring out which one goes to what map. And this is really the best way I've found to make sure that you're applying the right materials to the right places when you have this many objects. Um, this seems like to be the simplest, uh, simplest way to do it. done here. Got a few more layers to do. And now we're on our last one. Copy that. Export selected. Paste that in. Make sure you click on normal.